This is a 270 square foot barrel shaped tiny house called the Spyglass. Definitely unique, we haven't seen anything like this before. We're here at Onera in Texas. Let's go check this place out. Today we are here in Fredericksburg, Texas. I've been here a couple times before. If you remember, if you've been watching for a while on the channel, Texas has a lot of cool spots and Fredericksburg is a fun one. The downtown area is great. And we're here on the Onera property, which is less than a mile from downtown Fredericksburg. So prime location if you come to stay here. On the Onera property, there are several unique units here to check out. And in this video, we'll be touring the Spyglass Tiny House. This is 270 square feet of living space. The barrel shape is really unique. I haven't seen anything quite like this, and it actually helps with the floor plan inside to make it feel a little bit more spacious. I'll explain when we get in there. But back on the outside, this just looks incredible. The black wood with the natural wood for the exterior with the lights. There's a deck on the front side, all private, surrounded in these trees and we're elevated off the ground on these metal poles it is awesome so when you arrive on the property you'll find your parking spot you walk down the path the first thing that greets you is this fire pit area if it's not raining sadly it's a little gloomy today but that's okay continue walking we'll make it to your units this front side is the front of the barrel and up here on the deck space there's a couple seating options and a grill if you need to grill anything for the food but overall not much to do in this area the fun begins inside and on the other deck so let's walk inside and check it out Walking inside, this is only 270 square feet of living space, so definitely tiny, not a lot to work with. I think they did a great job. There's a full kitchen here, a bathroom on this side, and a bed and living space in front of me. They packed a lot in here, and I think what helps is the round barrel shape. So with an A-frame, the walls go inside, and it makes it feel a lot smaller because the walls are going over the floor. But with here, the round walls stick out, so it feels like there's a lot of extra space compared to just the floor. So you can have things pushed up against the wall and save a little bit of extra space. Anyway, the first part is this kitchen to the right. They have everything you need for a couple days stay. In the middle, we have a sink espresso coffee a microwave above this there's a floating shelf with your dishes and then there's cabinets below this drawer has a hot plate in it if you need to cook anything and then on this right side there is more storage with all of these shelves and on this end of the kitchen we have more storage above kind of a small pantry right below this we have a refrigerator really handy i like how they blend it in with all the cabinets and makes it look seamless and then more storage below and on the other side of this we have your bathroom area there is a sliding barn door and the design of this is really cool. I like the black they did. Uh, it makes it stand out among everything else in this area. And then above we have an AC unit which is handy. So we can slide this open and head into the bathroom space. And here the, there is a massive window that overlooks into your bedroom and living area. So this is definitely for couples but it looks awesome. This bathroom space is really large for this floor plan. They make sure you have a comfortable bathroom, which everybody likes. When you walk inside, this left side has your vanity. There's a really unique bowl. It's a wooden carved bowl. I like that a lot. And some lights above, your toilet, and then on the walls, there's penny tile everywhere, all along the curvature of this wall and ceiling. This side has a cool shelf that extends across the entire wall. And then we can walk into your shower space. Huge seamless glass piece right here, waterfall shower head, the penny tile continues all around, and then this glass window right here, overlooking your bedroom and living space. So everything's kind of connected with this tiny house, but I kind of like it. it, makes the space feel all open and it's just a cool feature. Walking out of the bathroom, we'll enter into the last half of the spy glass, which is the living and bedroom area. But first, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Soul Guard. I've been using this carry-on luggage for a long time now, and I love it so much. It's the one I always travel with, and the cool thing about it is there's thumb releases right there, TSA approved code, uh, lock code on the front, and when you open it up, we have a patented closet inside. I can just unpack it like that, bring it over here to the hook, and I'm unpacked and ready to go. Five shelves total, you can store a lot of your clothes. I'm on a five day trip right now, and I have everything I need right in here. And then there's more storage on this side. I like to bring my own pillow, so that's on that side. When I'm done, just throw it in here, 
and close it all up. It's that easy. And there's a battery up top to charge your stuff. And I just can't say enough good things about this bag. So if you want your own, if you travel a lot, I highly suggest this. Click the link down in the description below for 10% off your bag. Anyway, we'll continue with this living and bedroom area. In here, they managed to fit a king size bed, which is really impressive with plenty of space all around it to walk around. Unique thing about it is since the walls are curved, they push the bed up against the wall and it extends past the floor actually. So that's how these walls really help with saving space or adding space, you could say. There are nightstands on both sides. It is one slab of walnut wood that connects both of them around the bed. Really cool feature. And there are lights above it that you can individually turn on and off on both sides, which is nice. In front of the bed, there are two chairs here to sit if you don't want to be sitting or laying on the bed the whole time and a small walnut table in the middle. You can eat here, play small games here if you want. If we look on this side, this wall is full of windows, the round shape. We can overlook your front deck. You can close the curtains though if you want at night. So it's just even more dark and private in here. But let's walk outside and check out this deck space. This front deck is my favorite area of this whole stay. Out here, there is a wooden soaking tub. It is really humid today, so I cannot wait to get inside of this and cool off. There is a faucet on this side. You can fill it up with water, clean water every single time. And then there's a couple seating options out here as well. But this overlooks your tree area. There's not another unit in sight. It's very private out here. And this is just a cool addition being sunken in to the deck right here. If we take a look on the underneath, they actually built a custom metal platform for it to be able to hold all of this up. So really cool. I like this a lot. You might be wondering, is that it? No, there is a communal area with a 40 foot shipping container, pool, and a bunch of other activities here. Have you ever seen a shipping container converted into a pool? There's also a window cutout on this one side. So when you jump in, you can look underwater and see people swimming for that cool photo op. Perfect place to do some laps since it's all straight. You can go down and back, get a good workout in. There's also four lounge chairs up here, umbrellas, a spot for your towel. And then on the other side, there's a hot tub built into the deck. If you don't like pools an outdoor shower there is a barrel sauna right next to this really cool feature and then a bathroom that you can change in or in case you got to go and you don't want to walk back to your cabin if we walk along on the pathway to the other side there are a couple hanging chairs off of this huge tree that's growing through the deck and then there is a built-in net into the deck as well this net is full of pillows you can lounge here lounge by the pool or by the fire pit down on the bottom of the steps communal fire pit area if you book this place with a bunch of friends you can all come to this fire pit hang out by the pool and just have a great time together or if not you can just use the fire pit down at the cabin yourself so that's the tour of the spyglass property here at onera what do you guys think this is definitely unique shape do you think the barrel adds a lot of space on the inside let me know down in the comments if you like that idea and if you want to check out this place the link is down in the description below if you want to book it next week we'll be checking out the monarch property that one is a little bit bigger and it's very very cool as well so i'll see you guys next week Real quick, Savannah's with me. We just did a Q&A on my second channel, so if you're curious, my first ever Q&A, go check it out. The video's up right now. Link down in the description. See you there. <laughs> Underwear. <laughs> Yay!